Hey everyone and welcome back to Stugger Review. For this review, I'm doing the H. Hutman by A.J. Fernandez in the Toro size. I know it's been quite a while since I've done an actual video review of a cigar. The reason is I have moved from Mississippi to Houston, Texas for about a year. And where I was living at in Houston, Texas, I live close to a very major road. And where I had to set up my recording uh, area at to do reviews, it was just too loud. The audio quality was terrible. So I decided to, to basically go on hiatus with the videos and go into more written reviews. Now I've actually moved to Florida and I have a great area out in the back of my new house to record stuff. So here we are, we're back to a video reviews again. And I actually prefer a video review, so I'm glad to be doing this again. So anyway, back to the cigar. And this is the cigar that we're doing today. This is the H. Hutman by A.J. Fernandez. And this cigar, I've actually uh, was introduced to this by a good friend of mine, Jason Jackson. He's actually a rep for Altidus. And he gave me this cigar, um, it had like a, it was a golf charity event up in Tupelo, Mississippi at a cigar shop called Spring Street Cigars. And we were, a couple of us were smoking them and I thought, wow, this is pretty amazing. Um, AJ's been putting out quite a bit of stuff. I mean, not just his own line, but obviously he's been doing stuff for other people and it's all been really good. I've been really impressed with it. With the rest of AJ's lines, I kind of, it's been hit or miss with me, whether it's not that they're bad, it's just whether or not it's kind of, you know, to my liking, in my wheelhouse. Because a lot of his stuff's got, you know, kind of a good, bold, strong, spicy note, and it's kind of really not my thing. But, I mean, they're all really well-made cigars. But um, this one, I thought, you know, this is pretty exciting. I mean, A. Shutman uh, for Altidus is probably my favorite line. I really love the vintage Cameroon, the you know the reserve, the 1844. Um, I love that cigar. So it's kind of one that I thought, oh, that's pretty good, you know. But this is not the first uh, cigar that was that basically he did a collaboration with for um, not really Altidus, but it's uh, like it's Santa Clara. And the reason this is like the first one that. Um, that I'm kind of reviewing is because the other, the, he, he did cigars for Romeo y Julieta and also for Monte Cristo, but those cigars were only available on, from JR Cigars, uh, which is like the, a sister company to Altidus. Well, this cigar, actually, this one is made for uh, brick and mortars. So you can get this at your local brick and mortar now. Um, this cigar is, actually has a, um, We'll look, get a look at this again real close if you can see the wrapper the actual the wrapper on this cigar is a Sumatra wrapper Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper, which is looks really really nice Let's look at the cap there really nice and well made The binder is Nicaraguan Corojo 99 and all the fillers are also from Nicaraguan Dominican Republic um, This cigar this is the Toro size it comes in uh, three other sizes. It comes in a Churchill at 7x54, pretty big Churchill. This Toro, which is a 6x54, rather large Toro again, and a Robusto of 5x52. Now, the MSRP, they say, is 725 to 775 um, I actually paid for this one at uh, Cigars of Tally in here in Tallahassee, and that was $8 for this cigar, which... Is, I think it's nowadays, it's, you know, pretty good price. Cause it used to be, I used to talk about the sweet spot of a, a good cigar, you know, around six to eight dollars. But now with this, the advent of so many boutiques and coming out and all this limited edition stuff that's been coming out, the bar has been kind of raised. Cause you got a lot of boutiques and limited editions anywhere from, you know, 10, 12 up to $15. So now to me, you, your price point for like a good sweet spot is anywhere from eight to 10 bucks. And this is at the lower end of that. I mean, still six, really, I would say six to eight bucks is still a good spot to be at. But I think the bar kind of been raised maybe to $10 now, just because of all the limited editions and the boutique cigars that are kind of 
I don't know, raise the comfort level of what you would pay for a cigar now to most people. So this cigar, it came out this year. Um, it was released in April. Get a good look at that again. I love the band on that. I just love the, the colors of the band, how, how they did that. It just looks so classy to me. I don't know. And I'm not that big of a band guy. I, I just like the classy, you know, kind of low key bands, but this one is really nice. So anyway, let me go ahead. I'm gonna clip this cap off and then we'll see how the draw is. Really good draw, that milkshake draw, which is what I prefer. You know, like I, I've said before, but if you're a new viewer, a milkshake draw is like basically uh, the kind of the resistance you would get when you're drinking a milkshake through a straw. That's kind of what I, I want on a cigar. You know, not too loose, but not too tight. Just enough resistance to where it won't get hot and burn bitter for you, but also um, really open enough to where you get good airflow. When you, it's not giving you a headache because you're trying to get the, you know, the smoke through the cigar. This has got a really good draw on it. It's really got an earthy flavor on the cold draw. Earthy and leather and a cedar. So far off to a good start. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to light this cigar up. I'll get back to the halfway point and I'll be back to let you know my impressions. I'll see you in a second. Hey everybody, I'm back. And right about the halfway mark now, um, the cigar has some really uh, savory notes to the cigar. Um, I, I get, a, you know, I get that the cedar, it's kind of a little bit of the backbone here and I get a little bit of that leather, the kind of what I got in the cold draw. But kind of one of the main notes I'm getting now is almost, a, it's like a really buttery caramel flavor on it. Um, also a little bit nutty too. And that black pepper from that Nicaraguan really kind of accents everything in there. The black pepper is actually uh, way more fuller when I retroheld the cigar. But and for me, retrohaling, because I have allergy and sinus issues, I can't retrohale fully most cigars. It just burns. So, But this one, I can fully retrohale, and I get a, a lot more black pepper with that. But it's still, it's, it's just very smooth. It's a very smooth spice note. And it really kind of accents all the rest of them very well. Um, kind of really impressed with this so far. Yeah, it's really nice. It's the, basically that, that caramel and that leather note, they're kind of like the main notes that you kind of get, the most dominant thing on there. You know, with the, uh, the nuttiness, the... Uh, and the cedar and the black pepper kind of being, you know, accent notes to those two. But so far, really good. It's uh, burning very, very well. And you can see it's, it, you know, when I'm smoking it, it puts off a good amount of smoke. But so far, going very well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish this cigar off, and I'll let you know my conclusions. See you in a second. Hey, everybody, I'm back. And see, I'm at the end of the cigar now. It's it's kind of gotten um, less sweet now. Like the caramel note is still there, but it's kind of faded and it's now kind of in the background. What I get a lot of now is I get a lot of the um, I get a lot of the leather. The cedar note has gotten a, a lot more dominant. The pepper has died down somewhat, and now I'm getting a kind of a very nice like a orange peel, um, kind of like the orange orange zest off the peel. You know, I don't know if you. Usually you find that in like some you know desserts or even some dishes, but kind of like the orange zest, the kind of that flavor, you know, is very unique and it's really nice. And I've only got it really almost at the start of the very end, the last couple of inches or so of the cigar. It's a very unique note, but um, anyway, I'm thoroughly impressed with this cigar. Like I said, most of the AJ stuff that he's actually been doing for other people, I've been really impressed with, actually. 
um, the for his own lines, um, it's kind of like a love hate relationship with with me and the AJ's Fernandez lines that are out by themselves. Bell Arts, I think, is absolutely fantastic. I uh, love the Enclave. The New World um, is kind of hit or miss with me. Sometimes I'll smoke it. I really like it. Sometimes it's kind of like, eh, you know, but. You know, Oval is always really good. The San Antonio's I've kind of never really been too impressed with. It's just not my style. But the stuff that he's been doing for other people has been outstanding. And this one right here is actually really super good. I really do like this in this Toro size. I've had the Rebuso and the Toro. I bought a Churchill with this one, but I haven't had the Churchill size yet. Um, I'm looking forward to trying that one as well. Just a really, really good cigar, um, and it's it's pretty inexpensive too. Like I said, I mean, I, usually the, these are going like right now. Jr. has them. Uh, JrCigars.com. I looked at the price on those, and it's one hundred and thirty-five dollars for a twenty-count box. That's really good price. It comes out to about like six seventy-five a cigar. That's really cheap. That's you know well within that sweet spot I was talking about earlier. So this one is definitely one to check out. And like I stated before, you know, Altidus has got these in the brick and mortars. It's not just a catalog cigar like the other AJ Fernandez collaborations that they have with the Monte Cristo and the Romeo y Julietas. This one is very good. I'm glad to see this is in brick and mortars, you know, and it's just an outstanding cigar. I mean, you can't beat it for the price. I really do enjoy this one. Uh, definitely check this cigar out. It's very, very, very good, actually. Especially the, in the beginning, the first half is outstanding. The last half, the sweetness dies down, and you get a little bit more, like I said, of that leather and the cedar. The nuttiness kind of fades away, too. Like I said, I get a lot of the uh, leather and cedar on the back end, a hint of spice. The caramel is still there, the caramel sweetness, but it, it's really in the background. It's kind of hard to honestly detect near the end. But in that orange peel kind of citrusy flavor right at the end is really nice. But um, outstanding cigar, especially for the price point. So definitely check these out at your local brick and mortar. I don't think you'll be disappointed. And on for me on this, the body of it is probably you know the upper end of medium, maybe the lower end of full. Nothing nothing too crazy. So if you like full cigars, I think you'll enjoy it. Um, unless you like the super mild stuff. I think everybody, this is approachable for everybody, so definitely check these out. Um, definitely like to see this from Altidus, because a lot of the Altidus stuff I'm not that big of a fan of. And I really think this is a, you know, kind of an entry into what, you know, modern cigar smokers are wanting from their cigars now. And I'm glad, you know, Altidus is bringing something like this out, because it's very much needed. So... Now, if they would only work on their digital presence, <laughs> get more active on social media, that would be outstanding. So, baby steps, I guess. But uh, anyway, check this cigar out. I think you'll really enjoy it. And on that note, I'll see you next time.